Just into our newsroom, WCNC Charlotte obtaining this new image of Alicia Watts and her boyfriend James Dunmore at North Lake Mall. CMPD detectives telling WCNC's Jane Monreal the photo is believed to have been taken a couple of days before the 39 year old woman was reported missing. Jane joins us live now at CMPD headquarters. What did you learn today? This this new photo. Interesting to see this too, Jane. Right, Colin, exactly. I met with uh, Captain Joel McNally. He is with the CMPD's Violent Crimes Division, and he says it is important in a missing person's investigation that they find out where a, a person was last seen, right, to establish a timeline. So that was just see, uh, taken just a few days prior to that missing report uh, being taken. And he also says that other details, like we heard about the car in the house, uh, the driveway, rather, of James Dunmore's house taken earlier in the week, and that it was return. Well, details like that, uh, they're going to just stay behind the scenes and they're choosing not to share a lot of details with us for a reason. Captain Joel McNelly telling me CMPD will not comment on the car taken and returned to the boyfriend of Alicia Watts, James Dunmore's driveway. One of the most in important things for us is to protect the integrity of the case. Stressing their number one goal is to find the missing 39 year old woman from Moore County. So if this were to take a spin that none of us want it to take, uh, it's really, really important that we're not putting out um, so much information that Basically, other people could take our information, regurgitate it back to us as if it was a tip or something. Uh, um, s s we withhold a certain amount of information because we want the community to bring us raw, unfiltered what they know. But it is a lack of information that some friends and family tell us has been frustrating. What we really want is we want accurate information put out. Captain McNally says that's why they designate a couple of family members to communicate to other family and friends so they can keep detectives working the case. It's not a bad idea for family members to speak to the media. Um, our, our wish would be that um, people would talk to the designated family members. He did say Dunmore has not been arrested, nor are arrests or any charges pending, as this is a missing persons investigation. If you do have any information on this case, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers. Live at CMPD headquarters in Uptown, Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte. All right, Jane, thanks for that report. As a reminder, you can stay up to date on all the developments on not just this story, but others right now on the WCNC Charlotte mobile app. You can download that from the App Store, enable push notifications so you don't miss a major update. Queen Bee.